Welcome to my first exotic weapon review. This is the exotic weapon review of the No Time to Explain. No Time to Explain is an exotic pulse rifle achieved through the Lost Light quest, which involves you going through a whole bunch of loops and jumps and getting Atheon's eye, so you can get this beautiful piece of weaponry in your vault. With the intrinsic perk saying that obviously you can rewind your bullets back in time, it's almost like a bad juju 2.0. It's very good, and you can run it multiple ways depending on whether or not you're running PvE or PvP. Now here is the first example of the exotic perk. As you can see, I want you guys to keep an eye in the bottom left corner at my ammo point. Obviously not every shot I'm hitting is a precision hit, but as you guys can see, this is almost an indefinite acquirance, and it's doing good damage, and it also has perks like full auto fitted stock and speed reload. So even when you do inevitably run out of ammo shooting this gun, I mean, look at this. I was doing a good chunk of that damage before I had to reload. Do you guys see how much damage has gone from that? Like, that's pretty good. Here's another one. I mean, this is obviously just on Reaper Vandals. It was pretty hard to get them. These guys stand still. Ideally, this is extremely good for the raid, as this is, as I'm going to say later and uh, explain to you guys later, this is the second best DPS weapon in the game for the raid, only behind the Black Spindle on the War Priest and Golgroff. Now, that is completely separate from, you know, the Witches and Oryx, because they don't have a precision marker. That's a big, wide open area. But for Golgroth and War Priest, this is the second highest, only behind Black Spindle and slightly behind Sleeper Simulant. But as you guys can see here, I'm just going to be showing you guys the Crucible gameplay because I'm sure you guys want to know what's going on with the Crucible side of this weapon. Now, I'm going to say, unbiasedly, this is a very iffy exotic to use. Obviously, I would say that this is not worth warranting your exotic slot if you're trying to sweat through, get a high kill game. There's a lot of other weapons you can use. And in a meta filled with snipers and mitas and Doctrine of Passings, which I'm a victim of the Sniper Doctrine of Passing, and the last word... Guns like those, <coughs> this is not in a good place, uh, excuse me, to be in this meta. I do feel like this would be a lot better if pulse rifles weren't nerfed into the ground, so to speak, because this archetype of pulse rifle, although good in certain situations, like longer range because of its low recoil stat, it just doesn't seem to be pulling in kills the way you'd wish it to. As you can see here, like I'm saying, the meta is just filled with snipers, mitas, last words, and you hear them in every game. And I really do hope that in this April update, this is going a little off topic here, but I really do feel like in this April update, they need to fix the PvP meta. I know they're adding a whole bunch of PvE stuff back into the game, because that's what people like about the game. But these PvP things need to be fixed. You need to have a truly balanced meta. The mitas, okay. Honestly, the mitas, not OP. That's not the thing. The last word is OP. But I want to explain something to you guys. The might is not OP. The Doctrine of Passing is not OP. Those guns are the way they should be in this meta. They should be like that. The problem is, is everything else in that class of weapons isn't as good as it should be. If that makes any sense to you guys, you guys understand what I'm saying. But I do feel like Mita and Doctrine of Passing and Thousand Yards there, those are good. Those are fine for the meta. But the problem is, is that other guns in the same class of weaponry are having problems keeping up and that's why we think that these guns are op the only gun i truly think is op is the last word and that's the last on the subject personally for me uh you know this is pretty much it for the exotic weapon review i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay i'm sorry for boring you guys with this last part here but i just want to know down below in the comments section what do you guys want in the spring update it's coming april 12th from what we know we're getting prison of all this back this new taken shader new strikes light level increase level increase and hopefully new rates coming back which hopefully sparks the conversation down below i want to know what you guys want in the april update don't forget to slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content from me and my channel this has been your boy greek gamer or nicholas coming at you guys leaving the video peace out everybody down.